goodness, what a beautiful girl. There you wow. go. Right on. A ver, un ragotito aquí. There you go, un ragotito aquí. There we go. The Spantau is a dance honoring the combatants. The reason it's named is Spantau is because the dancers are to act like if they're scared of each other. Tino and Minnie, it's a girl and a guy, when they dance that dance, they dance from the heart. Oh, and that's a beautiful performance that those kids do. Some of our dancers, they come from distant places. Some come from California, some come from Las Cruces, and Albuquerque, and from all over, that have started when they were young, and it has been part of their life, so they set aside that day to be here. It's an empty day without a drum beat in our valley so warming on New Year's Day. Even though it may be snowing or it may be very cold outside, but the drums, in my opinion, they warm up the hearts of many people in our community. And uh, I am one of those recipients, and I have been since I was a child, so it just resonates uh, beautiful memories of when I was a kid. And, and, uh, that's, that's what we do on New Year's Day. start to grind up some of this corn yeah this is the old grinder we've been using for years this is Camila's grandpa kid up grandma's, yeah. grandma's yeah we're still using it it's still still works really really well that was a red chili that I grinded up before so I, we use a grinder for everything the first thing you do is harvest the blue corn and we roast it on the oven to get that really nice smoky flavor Hey, good morning, Emilio. What's happening, mijito? Huh? You doing good? Yeah. Good. Mm, what's nice is you got the chili mixed. I know it's gonna be a killer blend, man. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be really, really nice. It's a pretty color. It's nice to get started like this. And I remember Grandpa Bustos, and he'd get up, he'd have a little fire going. Grandma had a tea, a little atole for him. Yeah, this is my favorite part of the day. Salud. Salud. Thanks, sweetie. Thanks. Dawn's special blend. Mm. Ooh, that's hot. It mm, came out perfect. <laughs> Flame throwing a toilet. Mm, no, man, it's just right. <laughs> we'll see you guys. Hey, Don. Bye, Emilio. Take care. Okay. Ya viene amaneciendo. trabajando 
para mantener a lo que quiero tanto. Hey, Tally, maybe we're walking the same steps our ancestors walked 400 years ago, you know. The curves, the same depth, everything's the same. It is so freaking awesome, huh? Same land produces food for 400 years, sustained our family and families in the community. It's, it's like, this is the just and right thing people should be doing. Not everybody's lifestyle, but people that choose it should be allowed to, to live it to its fullest. No, no, this is cool. That's a piece of land that my ancestors farmed, huh? I can't imagine them just doing the same thing you and I are doing. The same, same thing. That is so freaking cool, huh? tough for just one person to take it to take it on I ask that question a lot what, what's what? gonna happen oh, what yeah. are we gonna do mommy asks that question yeah. all the time well, what's going on what's he, going on he doesn't you don't like have to a hear. plan you don't have a plan he doesn't like to hear it and I don't I don't like <laughs> to hear it just go along the plan is kind of is developing itself in a sense with us along with it <laughs> In 1982, I think was, might have been the first year that we took him out to the forest. That was when our oldest son was, I was expecting him. And we've been doing it, I guess, for about 32 years is how long we've been coming back and forth. It's just who I am. Yeah, even when the weather's bad and it's, even when it's bad, it's good. That's right. It brings back a lot of memories of the what we used to do, bringing the cattle down and gathering in the fall. I have a book called Tough by Nature. It's written by some lady that spent 19 years um, interviewing women, ranch women, and drawing sketches and paintings of them and just a short interview. And there's one lady that said, if there's a woman that can pretty much do everything. It's because she had a dad that said, you can do whatever. And he didn't say, you're a girl, you can't do this. And that's us. This day is a stressful one because of all the traffic and dealing with the public. And 
I don't know how, if you saw how many how many cars we had lined up behind us there on the highway, but people enjoy seeing it because they used to see it a long time ago, and, and then we're the only ones that they see now. So we're the last of the Mohicans. Ya no manejo acabamos nosotros y se acabó parece. You never know. Somebody will decide they want to do it. I hope. And if they don't, pues se acaba. This is todo. Oh, it makes me feel honored and proud in many ways, but it also makes me sad that it's going to be gone. Que más te puedo decir?